Hello, my name is Grace. Today I am going to read the Bible story. Today's the Bible title is 26th chapter Elijah helped a family. It, it didn't rain for a very long time in Garden River dry, dried up. The people didn't have enough food. The crops didn't grow well. So yesterday in the yesterday story it was saying one king was not obeying disobeying God. So Ellie Elijah were going to the king and said there will be no rain for a long time. And really it happened. And the crops also didn't grow well because there were no wa enough water. Where should I get? Food to eat, said Elijah. Go to the path widow. will take care of, of you there. Elijah went to the path. Elijah went into the town gate. A window was, was gathering sticks. Ellie just said to her, can I have some water and bread? So now there were no food and no water to drink for Elijah. So he have asked God, how can I eat and drink? And he said that oh okay you will go to Zarp Park they will that one person and there one person will take care of you and he really went to there and he asked to one people can I have some bread and water. The woman said, My son and I only have enough flour and oil for last meal. Alita replied, Don't worry, prepare food. Bring the bread to me first. Then cook something for your, your son and you. <laughs> So he ever went to one house and asked the woman, can I have some, right? And the woman answered, oh, there's nothing for you. Actually, there's only left for me and my son. I don't have enough oil and flour. This is one last meal. And he was saying, Oh, it's okay. First bring to me and cook for your son and you. God will not let you hungry until the rains your your flour and oil will never run out. The woman that as Ellie just said, Elijah, the woman and her son had enough to eat after that. God took care of the woman and the son saw Elijah. So
he said, first bring bread for me, then make this your sons and your she have he have said like that. Also and also God will not let you hungry and your flour will oil will never run out still the rain comes. The woman thanked Elijah for giving her enough food. Elijah thanked one man for the food. So like after that he have gone or also going back and he thanked the woman for the enough food to give her food and the woman thank to Elijah that giving enough food yes we will read one more story 27 chapter a room of Elisha Kings 4 Elisha of ten traveled to the town of Sherman. Sherman. Please eat with us when you pass our house. A Sharm Shanamet woman said to Elisha. I know you work for God. We want to help you. Elisha was preaching God's word. So he was traveling. And one woman said, Please eat with us whenever you pass. And today also. And we. I know you work for God. I like to help who works for God. The Shani, Shan Ahmed woman and her husband wanted to help Elisha. In the invitation, him invited him for dinner. Elisha asked, like, to eat with them. Elisha knew they loved God. And also Elisha liked them because he knew they loved God. The Sherman woman prepared something wonderful for Elisha. She asked her husband to make something for Elisha. Come this way. Yes. So for Elisha, he also prepared a gift, surprise gift. The women took Elisha to a nice room. There was a bed, a table, and a chair. Even a lamp was there. We made it. Make this room just for you. Mm. He'd like to help Alicia, right? And he also said, uh, like this time, Alicia's, I think Alicia's house and here it was very long to go so maybe they have made a room Alicia was happy to see the room it was comfortable room thank you you have prepared everything for me in this room said Alicia like 
Kenya thing, like in your friend's house, your friend has made your room. Can you think that? That will be very nice. And even in there, like you have, they have also prepared a bread, bed, table, lamp. A window <laughs> like that, you will be happy, right? We are proud that proud that you work for God. We are happy to help you," said the woman. Yeah, he, the woman loved God, so he she also loved to help her preach God. Yes, today I have read the Bible story, and next time I will read 28 chapter Naaman met God, Kings 5. Yeah, then bye!